We've been on the road for over a month now, and someone asked us, are we truly happy? Yeah, at first, we weren't really sure how to answer this one. We have a savings of $10,000 that we quickly started to go into, and we don't know how long our journey of traveling across America and our converted school bus will last. I still have $70,000 in student loans. With so much uncertainty, so little money, and so much debt, how does one be truly happy? To us, happiness is understanding that you have to take care of yourself before you can take care of other people, or rather, so that you can take care of other people. It's going out of your way to do things for others. It's jumping and not knowing when your parachute will go off, but having the faith to know that it eventually will. True happiness comes from the willingness to face ourselves head on. It's putting yourself out there in your rawest form and knowing you could face negativity, but having so much comfort in who you are deep down that it doesn't matter. It's knowing that your happiness is yours and it can't be taken away from you. Or falling down and laughing. <laughs> it's choosing love over fear. It's enjoying those little things, like those long bike rides that take you back to your childhood. It's laughing with your significant other for hours for no apparent reason. It's being who you are, not comparing yourself to others, and celebrating every win. <laughs> it's trying new things, even if you're afraid or know you will probably end up getting a little hurt in the process. Entry on the court. It's having a vision and not being there yet, but knowing you are on your way. It's doing what you love to do, even if it goes against what society told you to do your entire life. It's about having a connection to the deepest part of ourselves and finally listening to that inner voice that's been whispering in your head your entire life of who you are supposed to be and silencing everything else to finally listen to it. From the time I was three, I always loved making videos. All right, you're on. I'm free. I'm going to take a look in there. You want to take a look in where? In there. I'm going to look in there. All right, Kels, you can come over and look in here. Uh, I'm going to look in there. I'd make my friends come over and make them with me. I had all these little signs of who I was supposed to be, yet I ignored them and pursued a career in sales because I thought that's what society wanted me to do. I always ignored that inner voice until now. True happiness is about living your life to the fullest now so that you never have to take any regrets to the grave with you. It's about seeing the world in a positive light and knowing that everything you do truly does make a difference. And it doesn't mean you still can't go through any challenging times. Because trust us, we've already been through our fair share of them. But it's going through them and knowing that life isn't happening to us, it's happening for us. Being alone for the majority of our travels with no one besides each other and leaving our family and friends behind. We're in a situation where we are truly shown happiness can't come from anywhere else besides ourselves. And in those days where we bicker over stupid things like who's going to do the dishes, that could never be more clear. You can't look for it anywhere outside of yourself. You can buy a house, have a kid, go on vacation, or even live in a school bus traveling America, and all these things can give you moments of joy. But true happiness is a result of your connection to your own truth. We don't have a lot of money, we don't have a huge following, but it doesn't matter because for the first time in our lives, we're doing something we both truly love. And we don't know how long this will last, but right now, at this very second in time, we can smile knowing that we are exactly where we are supposed to be. We aren't perfect, we still have moments of doubt where we wonder if we're on the right path, but it's comments like these from you guys that help us keep believing. So thank you, it truly means the world to us. So I guess the short answer to are we truly happy living on a school bus is yes. <laughs>